Good morning. It looks like that uh, lovely sunny weather has gone away. I'm glad I got that walk in yesterday. It's not as warm either, I can testify. Well, I've just got out of bed and I am going to have to um, get back on to trying to fix the problems that have come up because of me not finding messages in my spam folder last night. There's two particular things that I need to get sorted as a priority first thing this morning. Well, the pot is on and since the pot has been on, I've been doing a bit of emailing and checking my spam folder again. And there were emails, important emails for me in my spam folder that have come since yesterday from people that I regularly email, like band members. I've been communicating with them for years with no apparent problem before. Oh, there was another one as well from months ago from a band member. I wondered why I hadn't seen it because I'd seen the replies to it with it included in the thread. What a pain in the backside. Right, I'm gonna have coffee and get back onto everything. I am randomly attacking my out of control drawer here. Look at the state of it. Ooh, what on earth is that? There's like a, a yucky thing in that. Ooh, I'll just put that over there. I don't often feel motivated to tidy up drawers, but I do when there's something else I don't really want to get started on. So I'm capitalising on that. Look at all these. The reason we have all these is because one Christmas I thought it would be lovely to buy my daughter a slush puppy maker and it was slush puppy brand as well. And it came and I was so excited and then I realised you have to put ice cubes in it. So that was annoying because I thought you'd just put water in it and you know, would wash around and make a lovely slush puppy. So I thought, oh, right, we're gonna need a lot of ice cubes for that. So I went to B&M and bought loads of those fantastic rubber bottomed ice cube trays. You know, the ones where you just push it up and it comes pioinging out, so very good, I like them. Anyway, the slush puppy machine was a disaster. It just didn't work and it broke as well because the ice was too hard for it. And even when it did work at first, it was awful. It was so coarsely ground. It was just, it was more like a snow cone ice and then when you put the stuff in i've still got some when you put the stuff in it wouldn't mix in with it properly because it was so coarsely ground and then you just had this really over strong taste of this with the completely bland ice chunks so it was a disaster anyway i've still got all those i probably don't need them all do i I should probably charity shop some. I shall think about it. I'll defer the decision. I'm supposed to be doing my admin work anyway. I've done some. I've made some good progress today and I'm feeling a lot more relieved. I've organised a phone call for this evening with one of the people that I was inadvertently completely ignoring. This is going to go in there. Uh, I need to find the lid. <laughs> I've spotted it. Oh, God, blimey. This is chaos, this flipping drawer. How have I let it get this bad? There it is. I love these Ikea pots though. They're Pyrex, you know, brilliant. But I never use them because of the effort to dig down and rummage around and get them out. But I'm gonna pop them in here now. The light plastic one can go on the top. There we are, that's better. That can go in there. I've put that in that drawer instead, the rolling pin in with the other rolling pin, because how was I ever gonna access it down there? I'm tempted to do the same thing with the hand blender. This is not a proper tidy up. I'm just, I'm just putting off work, basically. How many ice cube trays does one family really need? Hmm, there's a lid down there. The bowl that went with it is cracked and has gone in the bin. Will it fit on anything else? Yeah, it will actually. I'm gonna hang on to that then. I was gonna put it in the recycling, but then I suddenly thought, actually, it might fit something. And it does. Two minutes later, I can't believe how much better that looks. I haven't cleaned it. I need to clean it. There's like coffee powder and bits and bobs in there, but I'm not gonna do that now. I'm gonna run those through the dishwasher and then rationalize them, put some in the charity bags once they've had a good clean and been sterilized. I've got the sour, horrible Lidl's frozen fruit out because I'm gonna make a compote with them, but not yet. I'm committed now because they're defrosting. Right, need a cup of tea to take upstairs to sip away at. As I work through my list of emails and things to send and spreadsheets to update with new information come in and things like that. And I reckon by the time the tea is steeped, I could have washed these pans up, so I'm gonna do that too. Look, you can tell when I don't wanna start a job. It's actually quite a pleasant and fun job. I don't know why I don't wanna just do it. I'm like this. <sighs> just noticed the bread's going mouldy. Two days ago, I don't know if it's coming out on camera, there's a bit there, another various little blue dots. I can't feed that to my daughter, can I? I have to go in the bin, I hate wasting food. Right, I'm back at my desk. I'm gonna go through my list and tick off everything that I've done and highlight it through, because I like to do that, because it's really clear then what's left on it. Because I've done some things already, I've done that. Mm, okay. On my list, I have sort out logistics for Friday, because on Friday, 
I'm going out for the day with another YouTuber, which is Pippa from the Worm's Eye View channel. I don't know why, and I'm sure it's totally psychological because it really makes no practical difference, but I find highlighting through the done items on my to-do list calming and motivating. It makes me feel in control. I tend to grab the other table as well, my little floating table, so then I can spread all my papers and folders and everything out on here because I've been uh, doing a bit of late night making notes that have come in from text messages and things just in the paper file under the sort of entry of where that gig is by month. Yeah, I've set it up so that the gigs are filed by month and I do need to do printouts for all the gigs that we have because some of them are just in computer form at the moment and that makes me feel very uncomfortable. I do like to have a hard copy just in case. And some of it's just literally handwritten on a sheet of A4, like there's one, there's writing up there. So that's what I need to update the spreadsheet with, all the late night notes that were coming in. It's a quarter to three now and I'm only just stopping for lunch. I've been really engrossed in what I was doing and just tweaking it a lot and updating the way I'm doing things to make it better for me. Anyway, I'm going to go back and do some more after lunch because I'm quite enjoying it. I'm starting to feel on top of things. Anyway, this is leftovers from yesterday that I've just uh, got out and I'm reheating for my lunch today, so that's good. I don't have to spend any time cooking lunch. My daughter's coming home tonight. She's been home a bit more this week, just randomly. I think she just does what she feels like, really, so she's coming home. And my boyfriend's coming later as well, so I'm aiming to get them dinner for half six, so that's why I stopped for lunch now. I'm not actually starving yet, I don't know why. I'm probably not going to play my flute today, because I'm just, I'm really focused on just getting everything sorted for all the gigs that we have in the book. All the paperwork, everything, just in the folder, so I can put my hand on it. And it, it helps me to feel more, I don't know, solid and stable about it all, rather than it all just, all the dates flying around in my head. I don't like just having them on the computer. I don't know why, I'm old fashioned maybe, but I, I like to have a paper backup and I like that ring binder that I can leaf through in order. The spreadsheet does my head in because it's all in one really, 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 really long line and I lose my place when I'm trying to read through it. And even if I highlight things, I don't know, I accidentally click the mouse and then highlight the wrong line and I get lost, so. I'm just so old fashioned. There's my ricey stuff lunch with a nice big dollop of lime pickle on it. I'm going out. I kind of don't really want to because I'm in a mood to carry on with what I was doing because I'm on a roll. But I think it's good for me to get a bit of exercise every day. I want to keep fit. So I'm going to make it a short one. I'm being very impulsive today, you know. I have an urge to get light bulbs for the cellar that don't make me look orange in the vlogs. These are the ones, three pound. Well, the scenery's a bit nicer outside than in Welco. I'm convinced I'm gonna get rained on. We have got plenty of blue up there, but we've also got plenty of that kind of cloud and that, but more blue over there. It's like rain roulette, isn't it? Oh dear, somebody's been picking bluebells. That is not allowed, it's forbidden. They're protected by laws. 10 past four, I'm back, all rosy-cheeked again from my brisk walk. It wasn't up a hill this time, but I've still got all hot and sweaty. I really enjoyed doing Duolingo on the sofa for 10 minutes after my walk yesterday, so I'm going to do it again. Tu escribes mucho. Tu escribes mucho. 10 minutes later and I'm feeling most calm and rested. It's very calming doing that up. Don't know why, but anyway, I have been sitting here drinking a can of coke <laughs> by there and I've just noticed the state of my hair in the monitor. It's not a good look. <laughs> what time is it? Right, it's 20 past four. So I am going to spend half an hour working on my project to do with the band folder, you know, getting it all in order. And then I'm going to do some editing for half an hour and then I'm going to start cooking dinner because I need to get it up and on the table by about half past six. It's quarter to six now and I've been doing all those things that I said I would do and I've ticked so much off my list today. It's been brilliant. Do you know, if I don't do any flute practice, I get loads done. <laughs> what am I gonna do? I'm gonna have a rummage around and decide what to cook for Isabel and my boyfriend. And I don't know what to do, I'm feeling a bit stumped. I've decided, I'm inspired. Look, I'm gonna do the crusty rolls in the oven with a big stew and some cheese, that'd be nice. And <laughs> I've put that frozen fruit, which is now defrosted, in a pan with a load of caster sugar. I don't know if it's enough or too much, but I'm just gonna simmer that away quietly while I'm making my stew. You know like you get Muller corners with the compot and the natural yogurt? Well, I'm gonna make Immo corners. 
went for stew with sausagey bits in, so hopefully it's all right. I got completely distracted while I was cooking because my daughter phoned and I had her on speaker and I was cooking. Heaven knows what I was putting in the pot because I can't multitask at all, but anyway, hopefully it's all right. Did I tell you I'm gonna bit my boyfriend's house tomorrow? I am, and then I'm going on a bit of an adventure on Friday. Yay. <laughs> anyway, it's getting late. I've got to make an important phone call at eight o'clock find out about this job thingy I've been offered. It's only a one-off, like a one hour's worth of work. It involves using Zoom. Oh, I'm really worried about it. <laughs> I have not got a good history of trying to do video calls of any kind. Something always goes wrong. Oh no. Anyway, I've accepted it. You know, everybody else can do it. I must be able to overcome these problems. So I'm going to be finding guinea pigs to practice on during the next few days to do zoom calls with me because I'm gonna be terrified otherwise I'm just gonna be expecting it all to just go wrong it'll be like can you hear me that'll be what it'd be like no it won't positive visualization is needed okay Thank you for watching this vlog. Do give a like if you liked it. It really helps the channel to grow and I so appreciate that. And if you're new and would like to follow more of my story, do hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and click all because it gives you an option. All notifications personalised or I don't know, there's a third one. I can't remember what that is. Click the all one and then you'll get notified about all of them. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.